Family, how y'all doing? What's going on? What's going on? Right. So I made a video a long time ago and I was talking about the EIM method. You know, how do I personally use it personally? Right now, one of the main things that a lot of people ask me questions on and I had to respond to this video because a lot of people made this request. Um, they confuse the methods. Right. Um, because they so used to the method of the CPN number. Right. Most people think the EIN number is in a sense of. They think it's for business, right? But I keep telling them that method is almost the same as the CPN number, right? Two different things, right? Number one, the EIN number is a government number. The CPN number is a number that someone made up out of thin air, right? So most CPN numbers you can find, you know, you can make it, right? But you never know if it's someone's social, right? Now, some CPN methods and guidelines, that I mean, books and everything, they'll tell you, like, uh, make sure there's now a social security number verified, right? Or verify someone's social, right? Or make sure it's not a tax ID number, right? But when you're dealing with the EIN, nine times out of 10, you're not getting a, a social security number. Now, there is some EIN numbers that was issued from someone's social security number, right? So you wanna be careful with that as well. But primarily, it's a government issue number and it can never be misinterpreted as fraud, especially if this number was given to you by the IRS, right? So let me explain something, right? And this is where the profile come in handy. So most people would build their EIN numbers up. They'll come to me and say, hey, I put an authorized user on my EIN profile, my profile at a 700, but I'm not getting approved for things, right? And I tell a lot of people that banking is the most important thing, right? Because I know a lot of people like, man, why they not approve my loan? Why they not approve my application? Because remember, you don't have enough data points in the system to fully verify your information. Therefore, you can claim to have 750 credit score. You can have an 800 credit score. You can have a 620 credit score. It does not matter what your credit score is. The banking have something called internal points, right? Inter internal uh, banking score, right? So your internal banking score is what the bank judge you on, right? Not just because you got a relationship with them, but when the bank have you uh, as an account holder, uh, the credit bureaus can easily gravitate and pull away more information from you. Whether that be like your payment history, how how well you able to keep a bank account, you know, and so many companies, they that many banking institutions, they see this right, so they see this repeated history, right, and then on top of that, I tell a lot of people who build their EIN numbers up, I say, hey, don't get one bank account, get multiple bank accounts, because just because one banking data point go towards this credit bureau, you can have another credit, uh, you can have another. Um, internal banking score where it hits Equifax, right? Or Experian. You got some that hit TransUnion, right? I'm gonna give you three banks, right? So Chase primarily uh, keep track of your Experian score. You got, a, you got a bank like Wells Fargo, they keep track of your Equifax because that's what they primarily use. You got a bank like um, Navy Federal, they keep track of your um, TransUnion score. So with these different banking institutions, you are now by you being a member of all three of these institutions using your EIN number, you now fully establish that banking relationship. So now the credit bureaus can get way more data from you, right? So when people build these profiles up, when they get the score, they get happy. They say, oh my God, I'm about to get this. I'm about to get that. But not understanding that those internal data points is very important for the credit bureau. To, I mean, for the credit bureau to get way more information from you. And so I learned that the hard way because when I first built up my EIN number, I had a score, but you know me, I'm just like, okay, let me get this, let me get that. But I was way more obsessed with getting more bank accounts. So I went to over 10 banks and got a bank account. I went to here, I went there, I went to BMO here. I went to every bank you could think of just to get a bank account. And the reason why I wanted a bank account uh, with them because I knew that it, they can share that data. The data is the most important thing when trying to um, try, fully try merge your information. I got a lot of students that have come to me and I build their profiles for them and I say, look, don't apply for nothing. Get you many bank accounts as possible. Bank account is $25. At least get you at least four or five bank accounts, really five to six to be on the safe side. And the reason why I say, you know, to, to be on the safe side because this enhance your internal banking score. So four or five months go down the line, you got a fully tri-merge profile, which is good 
because even at a 700 with less with, with less primaries, they can fully verify your information. So if you go to a bank and you never got any credit card debt on your profile, and let's just say you with that bank four or five months, they run your credit report. They say, hey, he only got an authorized user, but he, he the authorized user good payment history. We, we know we've been he been with us three four months. Let's get him a credit card. Even though they start you off with a small limit, let's just say the limit two thousand, they might get put you up more. One of my students, I've been dealing with him for over a year. He was getting denied left to right, and I build his profile. And now after I told him, like, look, bro, I think you need to go to a lot of banks. And I told him, look, go to this bank, go to that bank. He ended up going to a bank, and this the bank that I didn't tell him. But it's good still. I just never recommended it, right, because I never dealt with it. Like, I dealt with it personally, but I never really used it for my EIN profile. So when when he went to the bank, he ended up getting a, an approved. He, he ended up getting approved for the account. And then later down the line, he ended up applying for a credit card. Boom, he got approved, a couple thousand, right? And then he went back and applied for a business credit card. Now he up eight that now the business credit limit is eight thousand, right? So it enhanced his profile even more and it and it, and it strengthened his file because he was getting bank accounts with the EIN number. But remember, he used his EIN number personally, right? So many people think that when you use the EIN, you think this is your company EIN, and it has nothing to do with your company. It has a lot to do with you establishing a personal credit profile. This is brand new, right? This is a brand new method. Most people ain't really tapped into it because so many people think of CPN, CPN, CPN. But now since I'm implementing the EIN method, most people seeing like, dang, okay, this EIN method is good because if I can use this government number, it can never be misinterpreted as fraud. It can never be misconstrued as fraud. It can never be uh, thought of as fraud. So that's one of the good things, family, that you guys got to look over. This this is one of the good things that you guys got to understand when, when it comes to building up your profile. You really want to have that internal banking score. You got to have it. You got to have many bank accounts. And then that's when you get to that position. Now, when you want to go ahead and start applying for credit, boat loans, uh, this loan, this loan, this loan. Now you're able to do it because there's nothing stopping you no more. Nothing, nothing is in your way. Now you really can take off. Now you really can put yourself in those positions to really get the amount of credit that you want. And that's why I always tell people it's very important to understand banking banking uh banking data because they have an internal banking score on you that you don't see and all banks share information so if they share information it's easier for your profile to get fully tri merged even though you have a score does not mean all the banks is a network with your profile that's what you want to be uh, that's what you want to have and also putting your profile in public records which is another thing right that's why i offer a course for that just to show you like how to properly build how to properly try merge it but then the banking aspect of it is the most important because if you don't have the banking relationship if you never build the data points for the banking if you never really establish that you're gonna mess yourself up so make sure that you do get many bank accounts as possible with it and you're not applying for things. Wait, just wait, family. It's gonna come. Just wait. Remember, for my first EIN number, I touch almost two hundred thousand in credit, right? Second EIN number, I touch about seventy-five, fifty to seventy-five thousand, right? But this is me taking my time building my profile because when you take your time and build your profile, you see everything that you need to create the perfect puzzle. So you don't just try to do it just to run off. You want to do it because most people who who, who want to build their EIN on, right, most people who really want to establish their profile, they got to understand one thing that, uh, you know, most people might have student loans. Most people have major debt that's on their profile. The EIN method was only for those who got terrible credit. But if you got okay credit, you don't have to start over with a new profile. You can use your social. But this is for people who got the worst profile, right? The worst profile like me. At one point in time, I had the worst credit profile, and I had to create an EIN number. And it was easy. You know, my my whole transition with it was easy because before I implemented this method, the first thing I did was get a bank account. So before I really build real credit, before I really put them trade lines on there, before I really got them auto loans, I got with the banks first. Then I put the trade lines on. And after I put the trade lines on, everything else was simple. Everything else was easy to obtain. So it worked like that, family. Um, but I'm out. Peace and love to y'all. I hope y'all take this video. It's, for, it's good information, fam. Uh, I'm out.